Goodbye. Goodbye, Malala. Week five, sort of. It's week five. Week five. We got a big truck coming here. It's gonna ruin the audio. Is it for That's us? The Schenker truck. <gasps> it's backing up. Is that our fridge? I it's, thought we're it's the window. Leaving. It's leaving. Heartbreak. Uh, for us. Not delivery for us. All right. Week five. We're back in action after a wonderful weekend. Celebrating midsummer. Are you awake still? Thanks to everyone involved. <laughs> it's time to get started with the next fun project, which is storage uh, compartments and some furniture that we're gonna dig into this week. Well, we started. We started on the high, uh, on the high cabinet too. We have like a. So we made uh, the start of the. Well, drying cabinet at least this upper part is gonna have like uh, the an inlet from the from the diesel heater so we can hang our jackets and stuff after skiing and then we're gonna keep the lower part uh, into several compartments oh what's going on here oh <laughs> Demolo de demolishing demolish demolishing wood prices not cool <laughs> Right, no joke. No joke. So we're trying to save some plywood from the old van. It's all because we think of the environment. Yeah, not because yeah. there are wallets or anything. <laughs> not because it's expensive. <laughs> nah. So uh, what's the plan to use these for? The bed? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the bed. And these are just super ugly. Not gonna use them. We'll just build prettier ones ourselves. Yes. And I think that's pretty much it, huh? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Hello, wood shopping. Wood shopping. More beams. Yeah. Can't get enough of fresh wood in this car. Fresh wood. Okay, day two, week five. We just finished the morning shift. <laughs> and what have we got so far? We made... We started on the bed. I think it's looking good. It's nice to finally see some progress. It's a tall bed. It's <laughs> yes. tall. But it's good because we can fit a lot of stuff below it. Okay, let's keep going. Lunch. First leg yeah. of the bed. Assembling the bed frame. So that's gonna go like so. And this is gonna become a rectangle that will be the... Actually, this is gonna be the rectangle. In the back of each uh, side of the bed. We're gonna make a bunch of rectangles and just put them together. So we don't really know anything about carpentry. We're just... What's uh, like a bed made of? It's a bunch of rectangles and they're joined together. So how hard can it be? Okay, last screw of the first rectangle. Hey, come sir. Number one. Yeah, number one. Oh, Let's like, do like six more of these and build the bed. I think it's more. So many. Yeah, that's gonna come be back here. There we go. And you can almost see it start taking shape. <laughs> Okay, so now we're just joining these rectangles together. Okay, great Mario count in this episode. There we go. Okay. Mm, that looks like one third of a bed. Yeah, we made a box. It's huge. It's for you to sleep in. So we're thinking about since it's so big, if we want to have a shelf in it. Compartmentalize? Compartmentalize? Com Compartmentalize! <laughs> we want to divide it up in compartments. It's huge. Shelf? A shelf. On top of the shelf we're gonna put boxes I think or like some sort yeah. of units. And then this big area in the back is just gonna Maybe be... A for stuffing camping equipment. Yeah. Here Maybe some hangers underneath. What are you gonna hang there? What don't you wanna hang there? All my stuff. Okay. We'll divide this front part into tw two uh, separate compartments then. So we're just gonna put a couple beams 
so and so and so and then attach a MDF board yeah. level. What do you think? Okay, let's go. Five seconds later. We made a box. How, how heavy things do you want to put Maybe there? Maybe we should put something here. Yeah, it's bouncy it's... there. Yeah, we'll put a little stop. So we're just putting together the last bits of the bed frame. We brought the old plywood sheets from their old car and we're gonna puzzle those together into a patchwork that makes sense back here. We want to be able to remove the middle piece um, in case we want to load something big and tall in here. We want to be able to open these compartments from the top to, to access the electrics and store it back here. So right now I'm just uh, putting together the final touches on these, the, the structure, and they're gonna be drilled into the floor and into the walls, so. Yes. So, Re reusing old boards. This goes like this. So we can stand here mm -hmm. and do stuff. Yep. And this one, probably never gonna use it. We're just gonna grab stuff from behind, but might as well. Yeah, might as well be convenient. Yes. And we know they are super ugly. <laughs> They are reused, and I think I'm gonna paint it once again. And we're gonna put a bunch and of holes in it, why? Yes, and we're gonna put ventilation holes, so that that doesn't get mold. It's not nice. So get either um, ribs, yeah, bed ribs, or make holes in the plywood. Alright, we got the whole saw out, and we're gonna fill this car with sawdust again. So basically this is one of the reasons we haven't put the electrics board in yet because those, uh, they're pretty sensitive equipment and this is gonna, any of the building in here we're gonna do is gonna end up with a lot of sawdust, so. Do you care at all what yes. pattern we yes. put them in or just yes. go random? Should, should we use no. different sizes too? <laughs> yeah, maybe. Okay. This is great content. Final piece of cheese. Look at this cheese. All right, so that's the final piece of our bed. Oh, it looks so nice. <laughs> yeah. We want to be able to take this off. We're probably just going to mount this with two screws in the front and maybe a small one back here, and then be able to easily just mount it or unmount it and get rid of it and put it like this. That way, we have all this storage room and say we want to bring like a, a scooter with us. There's enough room for that. Uh, or yeah, anything that takes a lot of room. So last night we finished up the bed and we painted it. And now it's been drying overnight. And we're going to try it out. So excited. Look at that. So this is our old mattress, so it's not really cut to the full length and everything, but... It's gonna work. You think it's gonna hold? Yes. <laughs> what? Oh, Look at that! Full length! It's a lot wider. Wow. Wow. And it's actually, it's just long enough for me to sleep fully fully stretched out i didn't think it would be but look at that and look at that got a couple centimeters to spare so stoked on the decision to make the bed this way because we have so much more room now mm. for sitting down and living not just spending all day in our bed like we used to and or old man. Still gonna do it. <laughs> You're still gonna do it, but I like having like a normal area, like a living room style. Yes. Bed is done. Yeah, bed's finished. We removed the middle part just to be able to work in the car, but tonight we're actually gonna try it out for the first time. Yay. Yeah, we're going camping. And we did uh, overhead cabinets for on the bedside, but we're not putting them up yet because Right, we need they to... need to be snug to the wardrobe. Yeah. And the wardrobe sort of needs to be in exactly this place. Yeah. 
So that's why we're doing things a bit. On paper, it's all gonna fall into perfect place. <laughs> <laughs> to so, be continued. Okay, so uh, we are just winging it. We are totally winging it. We're we never done this before. So it's like trying to save resources too. Like instead of making one big piece here, which I could because I have enough MDF board, we are reasoning that we're still going to cover this part on this side of the, of the board in the same white panel uh, that we have on the walls. So I'm just going to patchwork this together with scraps again. Um, so as you can see the wall here is a little bit curved like most vans so i start by cutting this to the longest length at the bottom and then i'm just gonna measure the overshoot on this side which is about one centimeter which means we gotta take one centimeter off here okay this is what's called a scribe it's actually just a piece of wood cut to the same amount or the same length that this overshoots here. That means I can put this here and then just drag that next to the wall and I will get the actual curve that I need to cut off for it to fit perfectly. Cut it off. Let's see if it fits. And just like that. Pretty happy with that. It's a perfect fit. Progress. One, two, three. What are you gonna put on all these shelves? Stuff. I like stuff. Yes, I like stuff. I put them there. Where is the bit? Oh, the little bit. No, yes. Just... No, probably not good. No? No, no, no. Bad bit. No, I need the other one. Let's see. Oops. She catches it's all my mistakes. The... Ah. Ah. I get nervous when the camera comes out. <laughs> like, bleh. Right, drying cabinet solution. I can't believe the vision is happening. Perfect. And that's gonna go behind the kitchen. Bench. Yes, and then down here we're gonna split so one goes out to the living area and one goes to all the wet shit. All right, work in progress. Work in progress. <laughs> Look Perfect. at that, you made the bed. I made the bed. Because we're gonna Start try it out bed. tonight. Good light. First night in the bed. Ah, it's looking so damn nice. We can keep it like this. No more building. It's nice. It's gonna work. All right, Good morning. Good morning. What's happening in here? So we have had our first beta testing of the bed. We did a two-night little staycation at a friend's place. Um, we slept. That? I slept like a baby. Stuff for us. Whoa! Is that the delivery truck? No. Yes. Ooh, mm, yes, yes. Perhaps. Oh, perhaps it's for us. <laughs> Go check it out. What do you think? It's a fridge. <laughs> do you think it? You got a fridge? Oh, look at that! Thanks, Peter. Thank you. Thanks, you guys. We have a fridge. Yep, okay. we finally have a fridge and that's actually, we got pretty good timing with that. We're just finishing up the cabinet that's going to be next to uh, the kitchen area and that's right where the fridge is going to go. So we actually, uh, yeah, we should needed we have, that to fit everything. Should we have a look? We're or gonna should have a look. we wait until next episode to show the fridge? We do a fridge unboxing in the next episode? I think so. Kitchen episode? Yes. Alright. Stay tuned. Later. Back to the cabinet building. So as you can see, some things have happened over the last couple hours. We put in uh, 
Well, Sophia painted it. And I made the frame for the next one, which is going to be like a cupboard. Uh, this is where we're going to just store cans, wine. food, wine, cans, stuff, foods mostly, because this will be right next to where the kitchen starts. What are we doing over here? Mm, electricity, mm. as always. We're gonna put all the control panels and remotes and like the 230 volt outlet and USB sockets and it's gonna be like a... The control panel. Yes, yeah. this is the high tech corner <laughs> next to the kitchen. Beautiful. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, morning, morning. morning. Should we... Do a practical example on how to build one of these. Yeah, so this is the overhead storage that we built earlier in this episode, and we just got it fixed to the wall where we want it, um, just above the bed like that. And we haven't made the the front yet because we have a special uh, special thing for that that will come in the next episode. Um, but yeah, let's. Uh, figured we can show you the steps on how to build one of these. It's actually super simple. And we're gonna make another identical copy of that and put up here in front above the kitchen. Right, so I kind of skipped ahead and built the, the front frame. Uh, the frame is just basically measure out how, how tall you want them. We made them 30 centimeters and then uh, how, how wide it's gonna be and then put some dividers in the middle and I put a, a double uh, batten in the middle just because uh, we need something for the front uh, to rest on. Yes. Okay, so we've got that done and the next part is to create the baseboard, uh, basically the bottom of the shelf. And we want this shelf to come out about 30 centimeters from the, from the wall, so it's 30 by 30. Which I think it's a pretty good size. Um, so you're gonna make a base plate for this one that's 30 centimeters by 114 centimeters. Okay. Let's do it. There it is. Boom, bam. Okay, so we cut the MDF board to size for the base plate or baseboard. And we're gonna attach the front like this. And But before I do that, I'm gonna think a little bit because we're gonna put some spotlights in this one because it's gonna be uh, uh, sitting above the kitchen. And we're probably just going to mount them kind of in the back here, two of them, and then cover it in a little box or something. Holes. I made some holes. We didn't show it because you've seen me drill holes before in this uh, episode series. But anyways, make those so and make sure they fit. Does it fit? No, it does. Like so. Perfect. Perfect. I'm just going to use uh, wood glue and little 16 millimeter screws. Right, should we uh, just film this whole process and then speed it up? And normal speed. So that's our bottom plate attached to the front. And it's starting to look like something. Next step will be to uh, build a divider for the middle and then edge end the points. Or actually, are we even going to make that? Because we have a wall on the left side and a wall on the right side. So maybe we just save. Save yeah. the weight and yeah, maybe. keep it like that, so just a center divider and uh, a another button in the back here to attach to the wall and there you have it. Sort of made the holes, spotlights are in. Spotlights are in. Okay, so we're just gonna attach this, this button that's gonna run along the wall and it's gonna be mounted through this and into the wall. So this is an important piece and we're just gonna glue it and mount it to the back like this. Yeah. Yes. Self-explanatory, let's get to it. Ah. Look at that. It's white now. That's one of the main differences from when you last saw it. Um, we got the spotlights put in and I'll show you what we did. So we made two little boxes to cover the 
the spotlights instead of making a double bottom because I would this saves weight and allows for more space and I don't really mind the little uh, boxes there and then we glued the cables to the very back here for installation later now we're gonna put in the divider so I drew this out for following the profile of the wall and we're just gonna put that in the middle here to avoid putting in too many screws I think we're just gonna glue it in place using these little wooden cubes and those are just gonna be glued here and here and these are gonna be drilled up here just so things don't move around too much and accidentally knock this out be right back <laughs> That is week five. We're actually like week eight or whatever, but episode five. Episode um, five. Yeah. Sorry for the two week absence, but midsummer. Midsummer. Life happens. We do have other things to do. We do actually have a life. <laughs> Anyways. A lot of time spent in the van. Anyway, look at look at what's going on. It's something more than just a padded room now, which feels great. This week we put a lot of effort into building the structure for the bed the cabinets and the overhead storage and what well, you can't see. Electricity board is mounted. And also, I mean, what you can't really tell right now, but we'll show you some shots of how um, a lot of the details are just coming into place. Yeah, super exciting week and uh, really looking forward to starting to build the kitchen, which will be the next episode's adventure. Next episode, huh? Next episode. We'll see it's when that comes out. It's going to be like in a month, tuned. I think. Yeah. Because we have other stuff. Give us a letter. We have other plans. Like getting married. Ah, ah you you're said doing it. it. All right, yeah, did it. All right. Happy summer. Hit subscribe. Hit like. Share this shit. See you out there. Peace. Go outside. <laughs>